The proxy pattern is a structural design pattern that lets you control access to another object by providing a substitute or intermediary. This proxy object implements the same interface as the original object, allowing it to act as a stand-in. The proxy can add functionality like logging, access control, or lazy initialization without modifying the original object. It also allows you to perform additional actions before or after using the original object, or delay its creation. So why control access and why use the proxy pattern? Imagine an object with high resource demands, for example, high memory or computation. You might only need it occasionally, so creating it upfront would waste resources. You could add lazy initialization code to defer creation until absolutely necessary, but implementing this across multiple client classes leads to code duplication, as every client would need similar setup logic, as all of the object's clients would need to execute some deferred initialization code. In some cases, modifying the original class to handle lazy initialization is ideal, but it's often impossible if the class is part of a closed third-party library. The proxy pattern addresses this issue by offloading this logic to a separate proxy class. So what is the proxy solution? The proxy pattern suggests creating a proxy class that mirrors the original object's interface. Instead of interacting with the original object directly, the client code interacts with the proxy, which acts as an intermediary. When a client calls a method on the proxy, the proxy can, number one, delegate the call to the original object if it's already instantiated, or number two, handle the initialization and creation of the original object on first access, achieving lazy initialization without duplicating this logic in each and every client. The proxy allows you to encapsulate additional behavior like caching, logging, or security checks around the original object. Since the proxy implements the same interface, it's interchangeable with the original object and can be passed to any client expecting that object. Let's take a look at a real-world analogy. A credit card is a proxy for a bank account, which itself represents a bundle of cash. Both the bank account and credit card implement a payment interface. The credit card mediates access to cash by authorizing, logging, and managing transactions electronically. The user experiences a convenient interface while the shop owner gets secure electronic payment without needing to handle physical cash. Now let's take a look at the structure of the proxy pattern. The service interface declares the interface of the service. The proxy must follow this interface to be able to disguise itself as a service object. The service is a class that provides some useful business logic. The proxy class has a reference field that points to a service object. After the proxy finishes its processing, for example, lazy initialization, logging, access control, caching, etc., it passes the request to the service object. Usually, proxies manage the full lifecycle of their service objects. The client should work with both services and proxies via the same interface. This way, you can pass a proxy into any code that expects a service object. Here's an example of the proxy pattern in Python. We use it to control access to a resource-intensive database object. The database class simulates a heavy object, which we access through a database proxy class that handles lazy initialization. The database class represents the heavy object that we want to control access to. Its init method simulates a resource-intensive setup, like a database connection, with a sleep delay. It has a query method that simply simulates a query execution. The database proxy class implements the same interface as database, specifically the query method. It contains a reference to a database instance initially set to none. This allows it to control when the actual database object is created. When a client calls the query method, the proxy checks if the actual database instance exists. If not, it creates the database object using lazy initialization. Afterward, it forwards the request or delegates the request to the database instance's query method. In the client code or main function, the client interacts with the database proxy instead of database. The first query initializes the database, while subsequent queries reuse the already initialized object, showcasing lazy initialization. The proxy design pattern provides controlled access to an object by using a substitute that mirrors the original interface. This pattern supports lazy initialization, or delaying resource-heavy object creation, access control, or adding security or logging, and delegation, or forwarding requests to the real object. 
It's ideal for managing costly or sensitive resources transparently and efficiently.